Ladies and gentlemen, I just wanted to throw this up there quickly. Uh, I did a first look on the steering wheel and uh, control panel, the SciTech uh, farming simulator, and I, I just wanted to, um, I had mentioned in the, the first look that I had some concerns about the product quality. It was like super cheap plastic, and I just was concerned about it. Uh, and unfortunately, my concerns uh, did come to roost. Today, I was recording my Thornton Farm uh, farming sim episode, and um, the uh, the two blue buttons there caved in on the joystick after. And I'm I I pressed them you know a couple. Th I've maybe pressed the buttons a total of twenty or thirty times. I've only used the controller for about six hours. Um, the number twenty one button just stopped working out of nowhere, uh, so that button no longer functions. Uh, the number one button, of course, as you saw in the review that I did, was double pressing. It still double presses all the time. So when you press it to turn the lights on, it clicks the front lights on, it clicks the back lights on, and then it turns them back off again. So you have to keep pressing the button until you get lucky and it doesn't double press. Steering wheel is still loose. So I'm going to um, throw this out there as a real short review on this product. Um, I did have a lot of people tell me that they've had it for a long time and they haven't had any problems. I obviously got a lemon. Uh, and I'm just personally, I'm refunding it. I spent 270 bucks for this thing. And to me, for 270 bucks, if the thing breaks after six hours, I'm not going to just keep going back and forth with the manufacturer trying to get a refund. I want my money back, and I'm not going to bother with it. I'm going to try to uh, find a way to hook my current Microsoft joystick, which has lasted for 10 years, and my Logitech steering wheel, which has lasted for 10 years, and get those hooked together so I can have a similar setup uh, without having to worry about it breaking after 10 minutes of use. So don't buy the SciTech wheel unless you're willing to go through some headaches. And I also had a lot of people leave comments that they have had a ton of problems with theirs. I had guys telling me that the, the steering wheel spring actually causes the cable for the steering wheel to break. People saying that their gas pedals, brake pedals stopped working. Same issues that I've had with the buttons not working on the controller, joystick braking. So um, you know, I just wanted to throw that out there because I made that video. I want people to kind of hopefully jump in and watch this and just be warned. This thing's a piece of junk, unfortunately. Uh, I'm very disappointed. Like I said, I was so excited about this. It's like, you know, I don't have a whole lot of good things going on in my life right now, except for my kids. Of course, they're great. Yeah, <laughs> you're awesome. But as far as my life is going, things have been pretty bad right now. And then to have this fall apart, I'm just, I'm pretty pissed off. So uh, anyway, steer clear of this thing. Ha <laughs> ha, no pun intended. And uh, I'll, I'll, I'm going to see what I can do to find a different kind of setup. Because um, for 300 bucks, I should be able to at least get something that I have working already or, you know, something different that will work that actually is going to hold together. But I will never bet. I will, like I said, I hate Mad Cats. I've always hated Mad Cats. I've bought controllers of theirs before. Never had them last more than like 10 or 15 minutes of use. I mean, the Mad Cat stuff is absolute junk. I'm 42 years old. I've kept this thing in my closet away from my children. I only take it out when I'm ready to play. I'm super careful. I'm not playing war games with it. I'm playing the freaking farm sim, so it's not like I'm pounding on buttons trying to kill people, okay? I'm super, I was super careful with this thing, and it still fell apart. So Satek, Mad Cats, bite me. You guys suck at making products, and it's, I'm just so disappointed right now and so angry about this, I can't even, I could spit. I mean, I'm just, this is ridiculous. You know, you can't sell something for $300 that lasts for freaking six hours. It's, it's, a, it's a joke. So, um, unfortunately, I, my opinion of Satek, and I, I mentioned that in my first look video, I was afraid of it because when I saw the Mad Cats label, I was like, oh, God, no, they never last. Sure enough, here we are, you know, two weeks later, and the thing's already falling apart. So, anyway, don't buy this unless you're absolutely willing to go through some headaches to keep it running, and I'm just not. At, at, at this point, at 300 bucks for me, I, it's almost a down payment for a car. So uh, I need to buy a new car. I'm just going to squirrel the money away and, and you know, put that towards my new car. So anyway, have a great day, guys. Um, I'm sorry to bring this bad news to you. I don't like reporting bad news, and I know I'll get thumbs down for doing this, but uh, I just want to be honest with you and tell you this thing's a piece of junk, and uh, just stay away from Mad Cat, stay away from SciTech. They don't make good products, and they really... It's it's just it's it's disappointing that they could actually even bother doing this because it's such a cool item, but it just it's junk, you know. Great great idea, terrible in execution. Have a great night. See you on my channel, and uh, be sure to subscribe. Love you guys. The reason why I'm putting it out there, like I said, is to warn you guys uh, that it's just not a good product. Bye.